YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm actually here today to do my first filmed Project Use It Up for the month of November. Now, when I started seeing, uh, first started watching Meg's Makeup 8 uh, last, like last year, I started kind of doing this for myself, but I would just write down like 10 or so things every month that I wanted to try to work on. I didn't film it or publish it or anything. I don't know why. <laughs> because lots of people are doing them now. Um, Curious Sparkles is doing them. Courtney K is doing them. Emily R, I believe her name is doing them. I will link all those people down below in case you don't already follow them, but I'm sure you do because they're all project panners. So if you follow me, you definitely follow them, I'm sure, but who knows? Anyways, so I got my list of stuff for this month and finally decided to actually put it up in video form. And some of these I've actually been working on for months because <laughs> they just won't die. Speaking of, first off, I've actually had this since my first Julep box last year. It is the Julep Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum. Unfortunately, there is no way to show progress. I have no idea how much is left in this. I've literally been trying to use this up for like five months and it doesn't die. I don't use it every night, but I do use it a couple times a week. So. Uh, I'm sure this is worth like 20 or 30 bucks according to Julep and you do get a lot of product apparently so there's that and the other thing that I've just been working on forever are the Spa Haas I just poured water on myself keratin oil shampoo and conditioner you see water you get these from the Dollar Tree I do really like them I, I'm just ready to use something else so I like like I said, I've been working on those for a couple of months too. I swear I washed my hair. But I know in September I was using up like my little packet samples because I was trying to finish sample September. Or trying to do sample September for Instagram. <sighs> so, and of course next I have another shampoo and conditioner. One of which I was trying to work on last month and I almost finished it. But the shampoo is the Davinus Love Shampoo. And I did mark where I am, at least on some of these, where I can see it. So I, I should really be able to finish this up by the end of the month. And when I, I use that shampoo, when I use this deep conditioner, it is the Herbalosophy Nourish Mask. It is a hair mask. And I, that's kind of a guess as to where it is, because you can't squeeze air out of this. It just doesn't come for some reason. Like. If I try to squeeze the thing right now, it's just going to push out product. But I know I've been using it and it doesn't magically refill despite my thoughts about products sometimes. So this is really good. I just want to move it out my collection and use it, the other like mask that I own. So yay. Next, I forgot to mark this one, but I will mark it after this is, I'm done with this. Uh, this was something I was trying to use it last month. I just didn't quite finish it. It is the full size of the Wish Shave Cream and Pomegranate. I got this off of Instagram for a dollar and it was, it might have been used once, but it is up to here as you can see. Not a lot left. I think these are good in consistency, but for some reason the smell of every one of them goes rancid once water hits it. I don't know why. And I have a full size of this in the body lotion, so I hope that doesn't go rancid once it hits the air or else it's going to really suck trying to get through that. Let's see. Uh, and the last thing that I was actually trying to finish off last month is this Nivea In Shower In Shower Nourishing Body Lotion. I'm sorry, it looks a little bit gross because, you know, soap scum and whatnot. But it is like down to here now. It might even be a little bit lower. So this, as long as I remember to use it, should not be a problem. I want to use it up so that I can get to my Jorgens one and compare the two. See which one I like best. Oh, there is one other thing that I did not finish last month. Most of these are not finished last month, apparently. I have this freaking candle that won't die. And yes, I know it's coconut and we're like totally in the fall right now, although it doesn't feel like fall where I'm from. I hate putting candles away to use the next year. I, I'm just not into that. And honestly, I don't like this candle. It smells fine, but as you can see, it doesn't burn worth a crap. So really, I'd just rather it be gone and done with, but it is like now down to here, so there's really not much left. I just, and that's also why I just kind of want to burn it up and get it gone. All right, next I have this travel size of the Beauty Protector Neuro Protect and Detangle Spray. 
Honestly, I think it's like down to here, but that's still gonna take me at least a couple of showers to use up. And the other product I have, you guys have seen this if you followed my finish four by the 4th of July, it's still not done, I don't know how. It is the Eva NYC Main Tamer Leave-In Cream. It must be like down to here, but it, I am really trying to finish it this month, so I figured I would show it to you guys. Let's see, I have this Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrates Serum, and it's already gotten down to here, even though I just got this a couple of weeks ago. It's just a little mini sample though, but you know, I don't want these to hang around. I do have some other serums that are like this size that I should be using. So use one, use it up, put the next one in here. That's the point of these is to just keep stuff continuing going out of your collection. And the last like product that I want to use up this month, I do have something else that I want to work on, but I'll talk about that in a second. Is this Ole Hendrickson Total Truth Eye Cream with SPF 15. Here it is right here. And as you can see, I've used up most of it. I just want to, you know, continue working on it. This is my daytime eye cream because it has the SPF in it. Although once I finish this, I don't have any other eye creams with SPF, so I'll just be using, I think right now I have my Benefit, uh, what is that thing called? It's potent eye cream. I have a little mini size of that like this that I would probably just use day and night rather than just at night. And the other thing that I want to work on is I want to use my face masks more. So like, I got this idea from Curious Sparkles actually because she does it every month where she picks out masks that she wants to work on. So I have the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I certainly don't want to finish this tub because I mean, it's mostly full. This smells so amazing, by the way, but I do want to use this four times this month. Tonight is actually going to be, that have been bad, my number one of the month tonight because I'm going to use it when I finish recording this video. So, and the, I want to use four other masks because I have this Ipsy bag full of like one-time use masks. I have the Borghese Fango Active Mud for face and body. That's at least like three or four uses. I have a Biore self-heating one minute mask. I have an Gem Miracle Black Pearl O2 bubble mask. So that should be interesting. That's a Korean one. A Miss Spa detoxifying self-heating facial cream mask. I do not plan on using up all of these in a month. I just want to whittle them down. I have two of these vitamin C eye pads. These are just things that go under the eye to depuff. These are from the Dollar Tree. I have a Dr. Brandt, Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. It's like an exfoliator treatment. Let's see. I have three more of these CVS masks that are knockoffs of the Freeman mask. I used one of them the other night, so I got my one mask to use out of four. I have avocado and oatmeal, the purifying one. I have charcoal and black sugar. It's just a scrub, apparently and have the cucumber peel off. And finally, I do have one paper mask. I do really love paper masks. It is the Innisfree Skin Solution Mask Wrinkle Care. And I can feel like the paper in there, so that's that. So I want to use three more of these at least this month, and I just dropped one. Because, I mean, this stack is crazy. So I need to start using these up. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. At the beginning of December, I will update you on what I managed to use up, what I'm still working on, and what I'm going to use in the next month. So hopefully I will see you guys then. Bye!